the start. Oh, we, okay. Me and Paul are so confident today. Yeah. We, we haven't made a video in a while. I'm sure y'all noticed. It's a high, it's such a high demand for the fishing videos. Yes. But uh, anyway, we haven't made a video in a while. But today we are so confident that we are going to catch fish. We're going to go ahead and start recording. You can't say the words S T A R T and recording at the same time because it cuts your camera off. But anyway, lesson learned. So that's a good start. That's a great start. Uh, we are in Beach Creek today. We're going to catch fish. We are super confident. We're confident. The most confident. I can't recall being this confident since the last time we were so confident. That's right. Hopefully this intro, as entertaining as it is, <laughs> is not the only videoing we do today. I know it's not. Not I hope it. it's not. Yeah. Period. I'll see you in a minute. Chris is hooked into a fish. And then when I pulled right up and I said, this is right where I caught that big red, I threw in, had one hooked and lost it. And then Chris hooks one, and it's a big old red, the one that I probably just missed. Uh, and this is what Chris just caught. Success. Oh, oh. I hope that's good. Do what? You may know, notice an abrupt end to that. <laughs> that trip yesterday. We were so confident. We were, and we really were. We weren't just putting on. We really thought that we were going to catch a whole lot of fish yesterday. And we caught three fish. So today, Paul can't go. It's the next morning. Timmy goes, why are you going if I didn't bite yesterday? I said, because one of these days, one of these days, they, they're going to bite. Oh Lord, maybe it'll be today. Look how pretty it is today. How can... I mean, do these fish not see? They don't have eyes? All right, first of the day, the little dude, little sheep. All right, guys, nothing biting here. Except little sand perch and and uh, sheep's head, so we're gonna move along. Maybe today I just need to keep moving, just keep trying different spots until I figure something out. This one is small, but it's fatter than the other one. This is a better one and it was on a tiny, tiny shrimp. Like it. 
That's more what I'm looking for. did a while ago where I catch a small one and then big one. He's not cooperating. Same pattern. Got a little one. Got a little bigger one. That means the big one's next. A little bigger. Every one is just a little bigger. are all the same size but I'm sure not going to complain considering I hadn't been catching any trout till today don't tell anybody what just happened guys it up close yeah I didn't even feel him until I started reeling in my bobber wasn't you know wasn't going anywhere so he was on it he just wasn't pulling it I sure wouldn't mind running in about five or six of them A little better, but not a keeper. Show you this one anyway that's a white you can see his little mouth catch them on the beach a lot they got a little whisker right there a little trout they're not big fish but this is a lot of fun
there's plenty of them it's not big <sighs> what I'm fishing there's a uh, an island right here and then there's a flat or kind of a hump that runs all the way out like this way out that way and it's deep on the other side and it's deep on this side probably about six or seven feet on both sides so they're just getting up on that hump feeding i guess at least they're eating these shrimp so um in the place where i caught them over there it's kind of the same thing it was a long uh kind of point that came out so all right i don't know if i got a shark out here or what my line's been broke the last two casts at the hook it's been and it's, it's something either bit through it uh or I, just, I don't know it's really weird Big whiting. I mean, this is a nice whiting. That's a good size one. A lot of people eat them. I don't eat them because you can't freeze them. Another friendly trout came to see me. Aha. Uh -huh. There's just all kind of fish up here today. Now we got a little blue fish. That must be what cut my line. Yeah, these dudes have teeth. You see that shrimp coming out of its mouth now? That was a nice trout. This is where we started off yesterday with such confidence. It didn't catch anything. But now I got an outgoing tide, so let's see what happened. Yep, sometimes the tide makes all the difference in the world. It's all about tides and that water moving. That was a good trout. I'd like to catch a few more good trout so I could uh, so I could clean some this afternoon. Oh, dang. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is right here, but that is the third good fish I've lost right here. It's, yeah, I mean, that last one, y'all saw I was reeling it in. I had it. I don't know what the deal was with that. All right changing hooks all right Tammy come here come here while I was fishing today I got an award okay you see yes I got that sticker how how'd you get that redfish I got this sticker flounder flounder and this sticker trout speckled trout the dnr was in interviewing people surveying people when they came off the water because you know how they do that and they measure your fish and everything oh if you caught and it you got the she sticker? said that i had caught the most fish of anybody all day <gasps> and nah she's <laughs> she just she said i got uh you want any of these stickers that we give away and she said i got the one that's got all the regulations i said i already got that one the one with the blue state she said yeah i said well what else you got and so i went and looked at her trunk i said what are those and she goes oh we give those you know like if people want stickers like for their grandkids or something and i'm like i want them <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna put them? And she had tarpon she had all these different fish she said you want triple tail you want tarpon i said no nope. i want that one i said i want, I want a speckled trout we dug around so i got a speckled trout where are you gonna put it on my boat are you really yeah well my fish that's what i fish for I'm watering my well my my gopro died 
before I got to finish talking to y'all today on the adventure, um, I did end up having to change that hook. I missed like three good fish right at the end. So uh, it ended up being a pretty good day because we have had some slow days the last three or four trips. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire and hopefully the fishing's about to pick up for us. <laughs>